Natty sigh, natty sigh, natty sigh, natty sigh, natty sigh, natty sigh, natty sigh. What the? What's this? There's like a tape measure down on the ground. Oh, and it's set on the metric side. What, let's follow it. Okay. Oh, hello. It's Mr. Powers. Hey, Mr. Powers. What do you teach at Westside? Physics. Awesome. Um, so we have like an experiment here with the mar wouldn't it be fun to play around with the marble launcher let's play with marble launcher i think that maybe it would be cool for us to like collect some data on the marble launcher see what we can learn from that data and then ooh, i think that i might be able to challenge my students with getting the marble to, la to land on a target and see if based upon the data that you and i collect they can do that on their own that sounds like a fun plan what do you think let's do it okay so let's go ahead and let's actually collect some data and what i'm going to do is you can be the launcher yes my lovely assistant mr powers is going to be our launcher and we're going to uh we're gonna chickety check out the data okay yeah. and so on um, what angle are we going to start with mr powers um let's start with let's just go with the lowest angle i can possibly do is zero angle Okay. All right. Let's 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 see. I'm gonna try to get precisely where it lands. I'm gonna watch it. Okay. Uh, zero angle is gonna be perfectly horizontal, so there's no angle off of the uh, off of the vertical. Let's check it. Check it out. Let's see what happens. All right. So uh, no. How many pullbacks are you gonna do, Mr. Powers? I'm gonna do three clicks. Okay. Why why aren't we doing one? Why aren't we doing five? Um, three clicks is about the right amount of uh, energy to. Uh, not, oh, not, not smash into the ceiling. Right, because we're going to relate this to mechanical energy. We're going to relate this to potential energy and kinetic energy. And the whole purpose of doing this is so the kids can think about potential and kinetic energy. You know, I, I wanted them to be able to do this, but unfortunately I can't because we had all those snow days. And so, sorry kids, snow days sort of ruined our plans for you to be able to collect the data. But I'm not going to steal the marble launcher away from you. You're going to get to do the challenge. We just have to do a little bit of data collection ahead of time so you have something to go off of, right? Perfect. So, you ready Ready for zero? Let's do this. Okay, let's right. see what's going to happen here. i got to watch it. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling right here. Yep. That Which that would be 180 centimeters. Would you mind writing that down for me, Mr. Powers? We're at zero degrees and 180 centimeters. Okay, and so whenever you're ready, you can do the next angle. Or wait, what do you? We're, are, or should we do it again? Maybe um, at zero. Well, often you're going to want more data because there could be a lot of competing factors, and I'm sure your students could probably. You know, yeah, brainstorm. Like I, I, I seem to remember some things, but I don't want to give it away. I want, I want them to think about how there could might be some differences between different trials of the same angle. And so let's do it again, just to, to see how the numbers might change by doing it again. Also, I don't really trust your eyes. And uh, I am blind as a bat, it's, so touche. It's going really fast, and so to be sure, we want to test it. Exactly. I mean, there, there could be like person error or something in there, right? And so, yeah, whenever you're ready. All right, three, two, one. Oh, yeah, see, this one was different. This one I'm getting at like 155 centimeters. Okay, so I guess this trial I'm going to try to do from this angle to see if we can like sort of see where it lands as we're doing it. And so you're writing these things down, right, Mr. Yes, Bowers? Yes, we got 180, 155. And we could just uh, average these all out. That would sure. be the best way to take a lot of data that you could be sure exactly what it is. That's That sounds like a smart plan. Okay, whenever you're ready. All right, three, two, one. See, this one, this one like is looking like Again, 150, 150 to me. Yep. Yeah, 150. So it looks like that first data point might be what we call in science an outlier. Yeah. You know, we're still going to average it in because we've only done three points. I mean, maybe the first one is more closer to the truth, but by averaging these three together, we're going to get something that's a little bit more uh, representative of reality, right? Let's do some more angles. Let's what what could angle. be, maybe let's do like a high angle where okay. it like, where it shoots up really high. Uh, oh! The back, the maximum angle. May, well, maybe not that extreme. Right. 90 would be a straight up and down. Let's do 80. Yeah, let's do 80 and see what happens. Um, folks, Kids, just so you know, we're going to be collecting a lot of data points for the graph that you can use to, to make your predictions. But Mr. Powers and I are just sort of showing you what we're doing to collect these data so that you can work with them later. And I'll, I'll show you how I'm going to make the graph and all that stuff. And so, Mr. Powers, whenever you're ready. All right, three, two, one. Boo! That one is looking like once. Wow, that's really interesting. 160. 
This is like a completely different angle, but we got a similar result to what we got before. So that one was 160. Let's let's do it again and see Maybe what happens. Maybe it always launches to 150-ish. Maybe it does. I, I think probably what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to try like a different angle just to make sure that this marble launcher doesn't always launch at about 160. Well, let's try uh, 60 degrees. Oh, uh, okay. Well, well, wait. Don't we want to do multiple trials with each oh, angle? Right. We trials. do, okay, and so let's yeah. let's do just like two more with this and then we can go on to another angle. Okay, 80 degrees. So this is uh, a retesting. 80 degrees. 3, 2, 1. 165 is where it landed. 165. So we had 160, is where we had 165. Let's do one more at this angle and then we'll switch to another. We got to make sure that this thing just doesn't always launch to 160. Right. So whenever you're ready. 3, 2, 1, go. That one was interesting because not only was it a little like off to the left or the right, but we're at about 170, 175 on that one. Maybe, okay. I, maybe I moved it. Maybe I angled it. Okay, so um, let's write that down. Let's do another angle. Okay, uh, let's go to 60 degrees. And if this goes to around 160 again, then we know it's... Then, then we know that there's something weird something about weird. the launcher if it goes to 160 again. I don't know. We'll see. All right. 60 degrees. Yeah, whenever you're ready. Three clicks. Three, two, one. Ooh. What? And there was even a marble about like a little close to where it landed. We're at 330 on that one. Hmm. So, okay. What can we conclude from this? We can conclude that even though for the first two angles... It seemed like it always lands on this approximately the same spot. When we switch up the angle, now it's going to a different thing. So let's do it a couple more times, right? Okay. I'm gonna have to get some more. Uh, oh, we need some more. Mar okay. Let's, uh, let's, 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 let's cut and then we'll, then we'll come in again. Okay, sure. One. So here's where we're at so far. We've started collecting our data and we have three distances for a couple angles and we're going to try to get as much information as we can to be able to figure out what the marble launcher actually does with the marble depending upon the angle. And so what what should we do now, Mr. Powers? Um, we're going to switch to... Uh, well, okay, so we're getting a clearer picture of that. All right. Okay, now so should we do some more angles? Yeah, let's okay, see. so Mr. Powers and I are going to do some more angles on our own, and then I'm going to take you all through how I'm going to make a graph of this so that we can make a representation of what Mr. Powers and I have learned, so you can use that to do the Marble Launcher Challenge. So thanks for watching, and there will be another video coming up in which I'll show you how I made the graph. 60 degrees, ready, aim. Ooh.